Yo, greetings YouTube. Today we're gonna discuss some Warhammer 40,000. But in reality, we're gonna discuss our reality. Not a game, not some kind of universe. We will be discussing our future and what happens if we scale up our own Earth so it reaches around trillions of trillions of humans, right? And then you spread them out on different planets. Anyways, if Warhammer 40,000 were to become our reality, it would mean that humanity has survived for another 38,000 years and ex expanded beyond our solar system. However, it would also mean that the universe is a dark and dangerous place, with countless threats constantly threatening the survival of humanity. Indeed. Currently, right now, we do not know what alien races there exist. They might be even worse than those depicted in the Warhammer franchise. They might be more nice. Either way, we're humans. Our default setting is war. And we will always default to war, if you ask me. This idea of peace is a mere luxury. We were not made for peace. We were made to experience peace in small short bursts. And then go back to our default. Constant and enigmatic wars. The Imperium of Man would be the dominant human faction, right? Ruling over a vast empire that spans the galaxy. However, the Imperium is beset by many enemies, including aliens, mutants and heretics. To survive, the Imperium relies on its vast military might, including the Space Marines, the Imperial Guard and the Inquisition. This is exactly like real life. We got the police, we got armies, and we got private companies that do guards, right? You have a guard outside a nightclub, outside a shop. That's pretty much exactly the same. Space Marines is a scaled up version of the army. Imperial Guard is like your average uh, train and bus stop dude who's like, oh, you're too drunk, kick, and you're out. And the Inquisition is the police. They be at you, man. You call the Inquisition and they be like, yo, what's up? Nah, bro. Execution. Boom. Dead. Horrible shit. I'm telling you, man, the future is not bright. It's exactly like it is right now. Some people experience joy. But in reality, this is a mere blick of peace. We should be extremely thankful. And we are, I hope. The orcs. You guys know about the orcs. They're in every other video game and book. They're everywhere. I would say there's a big possibility that the orcs is more about the fungus part, right? The fungus that have evolved into a extremely aggressive killing machine. And they are a major threat. They're extremely brutal. They're a warlike race that seeks nothing but destruction and conquest. They enjoy it. We humans also enjoy it on a le level, but they have engineered away the, the weak feelings, you know, the emotions. We are still plagued by that shit, and I will get to it. There's probably an alien race that's more technologically advanced and have more psychic abilities, more connection to the warp, the spiritual realm, we can say. And then we probably have some type of AI race, the Necrons, and they are gonna freaking wreck us. We also have AI, and the AI we are gonna be creating is probably gonna kill us in massive numbers. And that's just the reality of it. So what can we do? Well, we can start by discussing chaos. Chaos is around us everywhere. And it's a great threat. It's a dark and malevolent force that seeks to corrupt and destroy everything in its path. The forces of chaos are led by the chaos gods. Now in reality, the chaos gods could be actually pretty damn true. Or they are just one entity, or like a mixture of all. Anyways, they're powerful entities that embody various aspects of chaos and destruction. They feed on emotions. You could say life force and how you express it. Or if someone forces you to express it by slicing off your hand. Or peeing on your shoulders. Or giving you one million dollars and giving you a castle or you're working and you have ambition and you successfully create a career by working extremely hard everything good can be turned evil and i mean everything 
You helping someone can turn into the worst possible scenario ever. It could lead to millions of people dying. Now this is just the rules of our universe. It's based upon war. In your body right now, there's countless of wars going on. Bacteria killing bacteria, cells killing itself. So we're talking about the suicide shit. Yep. Our default and this universe default is war. And yes, you can go on this. Oh, mbaya, you know, everything is peace and when you die, it's all nice. Probably not, bro. Probably not. You're stuck in this universe, in this galaxy, in this solar system. Sure, when you die, your spirit might flow away. But that's a long time. And the universe in itself will die. It will kill itself. Because that's how creation works. So just be happy and thankful. Anyways, in a world where Warhammer 40,000 is our reality, survival would be difficult and uncertain. Like it is right now. Exactly like it is right now. Just scaled up a bit, you know? The extremes get more extreme in both sense. On the I feel good and I feel bad, both parts. Up it up. Max. Sound good, is it? And the universe, I would like to say, I wouldn't talk about the universe. I would talk about our galaxy. And that galaxy would be a constant place of war and conflict. Just like it is here on Earth, in our small little countries where we have flags. It's really nice, it's fun, it's a nice game. But we will be struggling the, all the way down till the universe kills itself. And with us will a new universe spawn and we will gonna do it all over again. So what, what you can do is try to join another faction in your next life. Maybe join the orcs, something. At least you can enjoy getting your head chopped off or chopping off other set. Some humans do enjoy it. It's an extremely dark path, but it's also one of the most reality checks you can do on yourself. Anything that makes you aware of the truth will make you happy. And the truth in this galaxy and universe, this dimension you might say, it's horrific. It's extremely painful. Whatever you do, you will suffer. There is nothing you can do and that won't make you suffer. Your heroin will run out. Your food will run out. In order to eat, you need to kill. And you will die no matter what. You might drink one million elixirs of life. They will run out. Some bad shit's gonna happen. Something uncertain. But in the now, you can enjoy all the life's good stuff, right? You can have a job, you can have friends, you can socialize, you can play football, you can have a lot of fun. You can play video games, yeah, you know exactly what you can do. You can be that guy, you know, you can be that guy or that woman. Just enjoy life on this, this small life form that we are right now. But I would say it's highly important to have this goal of actually helping humanity in whatever way you can. It's a noble goal. It's like a principle you can have. Whatever you do, try to at least help out humanity. Because you alone will probably not be able to do shit. That's just how it is. Unless you are like a chaos god. Or the emperor in mankind in disguise, you know? <laughs> yeah, but anyways, it would be a dark and dangerous world. In the future of Terra, Earth and all other planets. And as you say, only the strongest and most ruthless could hope to survive. And that's also true. This is just a small little video. I like to share some thoughts about this. It's fun, it's amazing. Thank you for this experience. Peace out, stay strong, drink water. Eat lots of protein with high quality. As much as you can. <laughs> I Peace out. Bye YouTube, take care.